So the obvious question is, um, Force Awakens. You gotta tell me, what was it like? Oh, it's just incredible. Honestly, like seriously, good work. Just nice atmosphere was always good. The people we were working with, like JJ Abrams, he was just constantly, he was pushing you. It, like now and again, because you do a 12 hour shift, like working on a movie, it's not like your regular shift. You work. You almost every day you're going to do overtime and overtime is grueling because you know you, you, you're pushing yourself during those overtime hours and the costume we were playing especially me and Kane um, they were tough costumes yeah, um, yeah, my yeah. costume the, the head was sitting on my skull on my head the head of the costume so as you can see there um, so that's the head itself was really heavy so at one point I was just like literally I was almost dazed because it was just in like two three hours in costume and just like crushing my skull but honestly um, the director everyone else just they they make you feel yeah. they make you feel um, they push you they make you feel good they make you feel um, that you can do it they can go through like the barrier of you know the pain barrier because it was painful being in costume but at the same time it was amazing and uh, he cop constantly gave us um, like um, uh, speeches like uh, motivational speeches about what we're doing he came to shook my hand yeah jay abrams shook my hand a few times t telling me how good i was doing and you know it doesn't get better than that does it so that, that kept me going and the job itself was amazing there's a lot you don't see yeah. like on the movie screen like Every Friday at the end of the shift, they'd put some music on and everything would just stop dead and yeah. you'd start dancing like on set. <laughs> wow. In costume, no what matter what you're in, yeah. you'd stop and you'd start dancing. I met so many nice people yeah. out there. Like, I met Simon Pegg through it. Yeah. I met his daughter. Wow. Spoke to JJ every day. We had some good conversations. Yeah, at one point, we were both dancing with Daisy. <laughs> I was really? Daisy out oh, really. Oh yeah, and um, Benedict Cumberbatch started dancing with us as well. So, you know, it was, it's something. It's definitely yes. something. <laughs> it's definitely something. So, so, how did you get the job? I mean, do you, what's the process? Then? Yeah. I mean, I was contact. This is my first ever job I've ever right. acting, so yeah. I had a lot of my bikes. First job, my first, first ever awakened. job. Yeah. Can you imagine? That's pretty <laughs> epic. It's crazy. It? I was um, shocked. The first right. job. Um. So it just lived up to all the expectations. You must have jumped up and you oh, must have yeah, like, yeah. For, wow, you know. Yeah. Um, they gave it because when I went into the for the audition, yeah. they gave it a code name and they weren't giving anything oh, away. Yeah. As soon as you went into set, yeah. they were giving, they were taking your phones, putting little stickers onto the the the, the, the camera lens. Camera lens. So you didn't, they didn't tell you anything. They didn't even give us the the scene name or anything. They called it the Hall of Mirrors, which yeah, is right. the canteen cantina scene. They didn't give anything away. Um, but yeah, I went in for the audition, and. Um, I was I thought it was maybe like a TV show, Doctor Who. Don't get me wrong, it would be amazing, Doctor Who even. But yeah, all of a sudden it's like, oh, yeah, my agent calls me up. Yeah, so you just auditioned for Star Wars, and you got the, you got the job. I, was like, I didn't even audition. I, you know I, I, mean? I didn't audition. I just got the part straight away. That's pretty awesome. It's probably because it's such a small costume. Yeah, yeah it's, yeah. it's a, it, it is a special. Our agency is specialist as well, which is which is great. Yeah, you know, yeah. so we do get some work. But before my agency, I just joined the agency uh, a few wow. months. A few months before the film started, so I was really lucky to have joined them. Uh, besides this, I would be I've been doing stunt work for like three years, yeah, so that so, that so. got me um, the ball rolling basically. Yeah. And got, uh, so I thought maybe I should get find myself an agent, and through that I got this. So, and, um, so how long how long was the shoot? How long were you, is it Pinewood Studios here? Pinewood Studios, yeah. Pinewood Studios. Yeah. How long were we shooting? Or yeah. How long? Oh, how we, long, we, how long yeah. we shot for about. I'd say three weeks of work. Yeah, in, worth. The, wow. in the period of two months, it was like three weeks of work. Yeah, yeah. Yes. two three weeks of work. So, it was good. So how difficult was it coming away from that and after and having to keep so quiet about the film? You know what? It's hard. It was difficult. It was no, no, nothing on Facebook. The thing is, like we we heard stories of what happens to people. Yeah. Because there was this one um, woman who was um, taking pictures. Yeah. Uh, of, of like the set, creatures, costumes. Really? Uh, yeah, and Disney gives you that you sign the contract, yeah. you can't give anything away. In fact, after the film had come out, Disney hadn't given us the go the go ahead. They still hadn't given us the go ahead. Everyone was posting pictures of really? I didn't I didn't post I had a anything up. With Simon yeah. yeah. And I put that up and I got in trouble for that. Did you really? I had to take it down, yeah. So it's so back to the story. This woman, she was taking pictures, yeah. she got caught doing it, um, and 
at, at the time it was fine. They said, look, just take, just um, remove the pictures. She didn't say a word. She just walked off and she got blacklisted. Now she's blacklisted from working on any Disney movie. And she did. Ha she was contracted for the all the movies. So I feel terrible for her, but that's her loss. She shouldn't have done what she did. And, you know, I've learned my lesson not to do something like that, you know. Uh, yeah, just definitely you got to be wary about what you say and, um, you know, what you... Um, what you do, yeah, and what were you doing, yeah. you know, taking yeah. pictures and stuff. And as long as you're not caught, you know, <laughs> just don't get caught. <laughs> yeah. So, you probably won't be able to answer this, but yeah. more Star Wars? Um, classified. <laughs> <laughs> I can't disclose it, but I, can I will tell deny. you. Yeah, I will tell you they're gonna be. Good. I'll take that as a yes. Then. Uh, they're gonna be good. They're gonna be <laughs> just as just as uh, epic. Just yeah. as epic. These films are going to be just as epic. So yeah, you're in for a good one. I can't wait to watch it on the big screen anyway. Yeah. So. so one final question. Funniest moment while you were there on Pine oh, Studios? Has to be doing a backflip for Simon Pegg's daughter. <laughs> you did a backflip for Simon Pegg's daughter? Yes. On, on request, was that? Yeah. I remember seeing that. That was funny. <laughs> or dancing, actually, after. Yeah, dancing. Dancing with... on Friday. Yeah. After every shoot. That was just good atmosphere. The music was blasting inside the studio. I remember the, Everybody was... was just having a good time. Yeah. But there was one day where they told us to go to a certain, um, certain hall, and they beers set up, props set up everywhere burgers and everything for everybody yeah, and they Thank showed us a little bit of a sneak peek of the film and it's just really oh, yeah, emotional yeah. for everybody. That was, that was really? good, that was good yeah. yeah. It's just seeing what you've been a part of and being a part of it for so yeah, amount of time. Incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the worst part of it is going home back to normal life. <laughs> yeah, it hits, it hits reality, I guess. It, it, it definitely hits home. All of a sudden, it's like, I can't believe I was involved with that. Honestly, it is amazing just being on set and being just... Cause what, when you're not filming, you're, you can just go on set and you can just um, hang around. Really? You can watch, yeah, you can watch wow. them. Because we were always next to like Harrison Ford, Daisy Ridley. The scene in the cantina, we were, my, I was literally sitting there and they were sitting like just the next table down and they were doing their scene and I could hear through um, uh, through the microphone because they gave me a microphone because my character had like zero visibility. So that if they wanted me to move or anything, they gave me the microphone so they could uh, advise me. And um, funniest things I was hearing about um, when, um, what's his name, Harrison Ford would poop a line or he'd like mess up a line. He'd just say the funniest one liners. <laughs> like, oh, it's hilarious. Like, like, like. like. Yeah. I can't, I can't remember them, and maybe I shouldn't say them on here. The things that they talk were about funny. over the comms is yeah, just oh, hilarious. They just, they just talk about everything. The conversations yeah. are amazing. Definitely. It's been really fantastic. Thanks for spending uh, a couple of minutes talking about your experience on The Force Awakens. I hope I come back and talk about your experience on episode on episode eight. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. Thanks very much. No worries. Thank no you very worries. much. Thank you. No worries. Thanks for talking to us.